floor. Hi, Mom. Hello everyone! So dahil it's Pride Month sa mga hindi nakakaalam dyan or sa mga part na ng LGBT dyan, alam ko, alam nyo na it's Pride Month. So dahil special tong month na to and I'm having a special video for you. A special vlog for all of you. I decided na i-content for all of you ang aking title na How to Deal with Judgment of People as Part of LGBTQ Community. We all know naman na there's a different situation and there's a lot of situation na we feel natin na we're judged by someone or by... Hali yun! Alam nyo na crowd natin na yung and those people na they don't feel comfortable with our identity. So, maraming situation yun, but I choose five situation. And, nag-survey ako sa mga party ng LGBTQ. So, pabasahin ko sa inyo yung mga answer nila. First situation. It's from Amy and Harvey. So, hi daw, sabi ni Amy and Harvey. Then, ang question nila is how to deal judgment of people as part of LGBTQ in school. So, familiar naman tayo dyan sa mga judgments sa school. So, ang answer niya is I once experienced being oppressed and bullied at school. I was tagged as baklang salot sa lipunan. Oh, siyang gabi naman yun. So harsh. I was hurt. But as I grew up, I learned that it's not actually bad to be yourself. Being gay was never a sin. Judgment and criticism about being a part of LGBTQ community are rampant. Rampant? Iba to ah. And I think that the best weapon when when we can use to face their judgment are the word bravery. So, tama itong dalawang to ha. Bravery, knowledge, and kindness. So, can I explain niya what is bravery for her? Or, alam niya. Bravery because not everyone will accept us. Others will stick to what they believe in. So, you must be brave when facing these people. Follow your heart not what the society wants you to be. Grabe! Very well said yun na, baby girl ko ah. So, second is knowledge. Grabe, para tayo nag-ano, no? School talaga. May topic. Knowledge. It's a like battling in a war with a gun against gun or a weapon against weapon. Meaning, what they are going to tell about you are pointless. Unless you have a certain knowledge you can use to block them. Remember, people who speak against you are actually full of mouth but are lacking of thoughts. So be mindful. Nakilala kong ganun. Lastly, kindness. Be kind to those people who criticize you being a gay. They might not be kind towards you but do not repeat but do not reciprocate to them their hate against you. Oh no. Instead, deal with them with kindness. Grabe to, gas gas to sa akin. Deal with them with kindness. Rise up. Highlight the waves. Rise up in spite of the ache. Rise up! 
and we'll do it a thousand times again. Oh, ganun nagbi parang feeling ko hindi na ako dapat parang hindi ko alam kung anong pagsasabihin ko sinabi niya na lahat, di ba? Hi, thank you, Amen Harvey. So, marami may inspired sa inyo mga kiddo na nag-school ngayon para madil nila yung mga judgment sa school. So, for me kasi, sa school, hindi ako nahirapan. So, personally kasi, varsity player ako sa school namin. So, alam na, mga tip, yung environment or yung nasa paligid ko is puro part ng LGBT. So, hindi na ako nahirapan na mag-out or sabihin pa kasi gets na nila yun. Then, yung mga coaches namin, hindi naman din sila nag-judge about sa mga identity namin personally. So, if I were you, don't mind them. Be who you are. So, huwag mo rin pilitan na matanggap ka ng iba na hindi, hindi ka na judge kasi part na yun eh. part na yun na sa atin hindi na may iwasan so don't mind it as long as na wala kang ginagawa sa atin the second situation is from sexy mama Ooh, sexy mama ito talagang kaibigan ko so, sexy mama so situation sa kanya is sa friends so sexy mama told me na Okay, Berlo, you can please everyone naman. Mahirap dahil hindi pa masyado open yung ganito situation sa Philippines. Pero there's nothing you can do with it. Sa pag-iisip mo lang judgmental. So, hayaan na lang sila. Masaya ka naman eh. Ayun, ang sagot ng ating sexy mama. Very well said din ah. Kasi may mga, iba't iba kasi tayong perception eh. May ibang mga tao na dini parang dinidisregard nila yun. So, if someone judge them, yung sinabi niya, favor lang. Kasi hindi naman nagmamatter sa kanya yun eh. Kaya, if I were you, kung nag-overthink ka, or kung gusto mo ma-accept ka agad ng mga nasa paligid mo, ng friends mo, huwag ganun. Kasi, parang pinaparusahan mo lang yung sarili. Hayaan mo, hayaan mo sila yung tumanggap sa'yo. Tapos, don't mind them kung hindi. Bakit? Sila lang ba nagmamahal sa'yo? Mahal na tayo na. So, yun. Third situation. It's coming from... Miss Shames. So, yun. Ang situation na napunta sa kanya is from relatives. So, relatives. Ha, 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 ha. Eh, kasi, as much as you want to, talagang wala akong pakisakala. Wapakils ako sa kanila. I really don't deal with them kasi with regards naman sa family, as much as andun yung respect, wala ka naman dapat isipin pa. Kung tanggap nila, then I'm thankful. Kung hindi, why worry, di ba? Ever since naman kasi wala akong pake, as long as na hindi ka nagdi-disrespect sa iba, di ba? Ayun. Smile face. Pakit ako, in terms to family or relatives, hindi ako nag-out. Kasi parang, for me, automatic na. So, di ma, automatic. So, hindi lang naman siguro akong gumawa nun eh. Madami din yung mga ano, part ng LGBT na hindi nakapag-out, na parang automatic, gets na. Then, marami din nagkaroon ng hard time. So, Huwag natin sila i-judge. Kasi ano naman yun, it takes time. It takes time, matanggap tayo ng parents natin, ng relatives natin. Masakit, oo, kasi parang sila yung kadugo mo. Then, why? Bakit hindi mo ako matanggap or hindi mo magets kung bakit ako naging ganito or yung identity ko. Pero meron din naman kasing tanggap na agad. So, iba't iba talaga ang situation. It depends on yun na lang kung paano mo i-cover up or hindi i-cover up eh. Or kung paano mo ma-handle yung situation na gano'n. Siguro, depende sa pagkakakilala mo sa parents mo, sa relatives mo. Doon mo siya makoconnect, reconnect, or masusol. Yun. 
ma mas sobrang ano nun na sobrang sensitive nung issue about home relatives. Kaya I'm gonna hug you. Kaya mayan. Happy busy. Let's rec recover together, huh? So for our far situation is coming from ha mama. <laughs> for me, kasi hindi ganon naging mahirap ang pag-open ko about it. Sa so, work kasi nila, since some people in my team is part of LGBTQ, and also yung company namin na pinag-work on is may seminar na nag-explain mismo on how to understand LGBTQ. Sana all! Kaso, iilang ganong company na. Then, proceed. Pero, how I deal judgment? If kakilala ko sa work, ha, naka close parenthesis siya, is when they say something na di ko nagustuhan, na it affects me and my friends, na part ng LGBTQ, na ako, nakikipag-concert sa akin yung Ali, panu. Yun. I correct and explain them our point of view. That we know we have our own opinions sa mga bagay-bagay. But as long as it doesn't hurt others' people's feelings, it's okay. Keep your judgment to yourself na lang. Very well said, ni Hot Mama. So for me, personally, in terms to work, hindi kasi ako eh. Hindi kasi ako public na nag- Alam mo yun, gusto ko after office, hanggang doon na lang yung communication namin. So, hindi ako nag open up regarding sa private life ko. Kasi, choice mo yun, option mo yun, privacy mo yun, and right mo yun. So, ano yun na, on my own, own opinion. So, huwag mong gawin big deal. For me, huwag mong gawin big deal. Huwag mo sa kanina i-open up. Ayaw mo silang mag-judge, mag-contemplate kung ano ka, kung ano meron sa identity mo. Kasi marami talagang mega sa mundo. Megatrons. Kaya huwag kang magpapa-apekto doon. Kasi pag nagpa-apekto ka, ikaw lang yung mga tag. Yeah! Tsaka hindi naman nagmamatter. Hindi ko naman sinabi hindi nagmamatter sa'yo yung mga co-workers mo or worker, workmate mo. Pero kasi diba, hindi naman lahat na naging work-related natin is nagiging attached sa life natin. Bibihira lang yan. Come on! Kasi lahat si karamihan nag stay lang yan pag doon ka nag-work. Pero after mo mag-work doon sa company na yun, ilan lang, bilang lang sa limang daliri mo yung matitirang totoong naging kaibigan. So, I'm happy yeah. and I'm happy for you din kung meron kang nakit na friends from work. So, for our last or fifth situation is coming from my babes. Hi babes! So yun, ang sa kanya is how to deal with judgment of people as LGBT member. Member, LGBT member. Simple lang. Ignore them. People who matters to me with a mind. Be bothered or judged the way I am. And people who judge me does not matter. I respect their opinion and they should respect my perspective. So, ang gagaling na mga napagtanungan ko, di ba? Lahat? Sineryoso? So, thank you po sa inyong lahat. Thank you sa mga nag-share ng mga experience. Mga own perspective, own opinion. Hindi naman kasi tayo dito nag-base sa isang opinion lang. So, dapat, alam mo yun, huwag kang, mag, huwag kang magkuklose ng door sa ibang opinion. Be open-minded nga, di ba? So, wait lang, ibibase ko muna siya sa, hey. As a LGBTQ member, I don't mind din kasi if they judge me. Kasi, hindi naman sila nagmamatter sa boy ko eh. Yung nagmamatter sa buhay ko, yung mga mahal ko sa buhay. So, if a stranger judge me, go ahead. Then, if someone trying to judge me in bad terms, go ahead. Hayaan nyo na sila ng hayaan!
yan. Kasi magsasawa din yan. Then, kung di man sila magsawa, hiyan nyo mapagod yung, mapagod sila yung maubos yung energy nila. So, yun. Huwag mong ipasok sa sistema mo yung toxicity nila. Kasi, deserve mo yeah! yung masaya. Deserve, deserve mo yung inner peace. Deserve mo maging happy. So, let's hug! So, before I end my vlog, let me share to you my experience. So, dahil alam mo na, hindi tayo makakapag Pride March sa Marikina, let me share to you my experience. Um, yung first year ko is 2017. So, yan! Nakita mo yan, yan. Yan, yan yung mga experience namin that year. Hindi pa nga gano'n ka daming tao nun eh. Tsaka hindi pa siya yung, yung event place, hindi pa dun mismo sa may sports center ng Marikina. Yung napuno nung last year. Hindi pa doon. Doon pa lang kami sa may City Hall. Tapos Pride March. Mga may kilalang pamuntang LGBTQ. Pero, hindi pa siya ganun kabo kabongga na, alam mo yung na, to the point na naglalakad na lahat. <laughs> dahil walang masakyan kasi nga traffic, ganyan. Hindi pa ganun. Then, that was year 2017. Then, 2018, hindi kami nakapunta. Hindi kami nakapunta. Oh, no! Hindi kami nakapunta kami lahat. Pero, we celebrated together with my friends and my partner. Then, the last year, 2019, Boom, 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 boom. Grabe, di ba? Grabe, ang daming tao. Um, ri, ano, rise and shine yan. Grabe talaga, ang daming tao. Ang daming naglalakad. Ang daming tao sa kalsada. Ang daming tao sa mga fast food. Ang daming tao. Habang nagpa-pride march. Tapos kahit na, ano mo yun, umuulan. Parang mas masaya kasi umuulan. Tapos lahat, hi. Hi, happy pride na. Hi. Hi! Oh! Kayo connected. Alam mo yun? Lahat kayo magkakilala. Kala mo. Pero, strangers naman kayo kasi doon na kayo nakikita sa ano na yun eh, Event na yun eh, Pride March. So, pag nakikita mo sa na-overwhelm ko, shit. Alam mo yun? Alam, pinansin niya ako. Alam, sweet. Alam mo, ganun. Grabe. Ang saya ko nun kahit na yeah! wet na wet ako. I mean, wet ah. Wet na wet yung damit ko. Nung <laughs> Pride March. Kasamba sa ako nun. Nung no, ano, Pride March. So again, <laughs> Happy Pride Month, everyone! Hello, mga mahal ko. Happy Pride Month virtual hug. Naku, ah, keep safe, ah. Kasi alam nyo naman yung situation natin ngayon sa COVID-19. So, please take care of yourself. Risky lumabas pa, pero... Kung kinakailangan nyo talaga ng mabas, dun lang ha. Tapos, mag-alcohol lagi, mag-wash ng hand, magpalit ng damit, pag uwi sa bahay. Basta, happy Prime Month! Sana ma-enjoy nyo yung video ko. And then, please, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the bell button para, alam nyo yun, ma-notify kayo every time na meron akong bagong videos. Ha? <laughs> <Huh? laughs>